Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to take a little look at gestures and how you can use them and uh, basically how they relate to all the other motions in uh, iClone. So first of all on the screen right now we have this simple, simple, simple motion. You can see just a motion clip here and if I play back we just have this robot guy, Android dude, giving us a peace sign, just like that, okay? Now there are no gestures involved in this motion, it's just a simple motion clip right here. All right. If you want to find your gestures under motion, you'll find a gesture uh, section here. Okay. So under your motion track, you'll find gestures and you'll also find motion layer, of course. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at our gestures then. Now, what you want to do for your gestures is you want to go up to uh, find your gestures first. Go up to uh, Windows here in your content manager. You can also use the F4 hotkey. And your gestures can be found in the motion uh, section here, uh, or rather animation section under gesture. And you'll find all your stuff right here. You can click and drag this doodad over. To get the entire thing full of gestures. We'll bring this down a little bit as well. There we go. All right, so we got a bunch of gestures here. You can see we have stuff like open, extend, one, two, three, all kinds of different gestures. Now, keep in mind the gestures will be layered over top of the motion clips. So the gestures are of higher priority than anything that's in the motion clip. So right here, what we have is we have this piece symbol right here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a gesture. Uh, let's apply this hip hop gesture just to frame one here. I'm just going to double click that. And you can see we have this hip hop gesture that appears as a clip in the left and right hand. Okay. Now, like I mentioned, this gesture, uh, when it comes to the hands, it's going to overwrite any motion that was there before. So we're not going to have the P symbol anymore. It's going to overwrite that just with a simple hip hop gesture. Okay. So it just overwrites everything that was on the clip before. If we delete the hip hop uh, gesture right here, uh, for the left hand and the right hand there, you'll see we'll be restored back to our original, uh, P symbol there. Okay. So let's go back to uh, frame one Z here. Okay, uh, double click that again. So we have this hip hop gesture. Now what we can do is we can actually, you know, if we wanted to change this hip hop gesture to something else, well, we can uh, use another gesture. We can blend in another gesture here. Let's go ahead and throw in this thumbs up. All right, you can see that I'll apply the two clips right there. And then what will happen is we'll have our hip hop gesture transition into a thumbs up. Okay, and you can, uh, of course, increase or decrease the transition areas. Um, you can hold control to click on both your hands there. If you want to click both those clips and click and drag them to wherever you want. You want the transition to happen earlier. Well, then you can do it like this. All right, so there you go. It looks pretty natural that way. All right, so right here we have our uh, our thumb uh, pose right here at this very first frame where that uh, keyframe is there. Now, say for example, we want to change this to uh, you know something else. Well, let's go ahead then and open up our uh, motion uh, track here, or rather we'll go to our uh, modify panel here and open up our animation tab. And I'm gonna go here to the edit motion layer tool. And in edit motion layer tool, you'll have these handy little hand uh, things that you can modify. So at this frame right here, uh, this is where I'm going to change the uh, my character's right hand. So we'll just uh, double click on right fingers there. And that'll add a keyframe in the right fingers track. Wherever we want the transition to begin, that's where we double click and right there because that'll be basically maintain all the data for the edit motion layer tool and this edit motion layer tool will overwrite any gesture stuff that you have there as well okay so keep in mind the priority is the edit motion layer tool will be first priority then second priority will be the uh, gesture clips and then third will be the motion clips here all right so let's go ahead and throw in something like a uh, point so i'm going to click and drag on the right hand you can click and drag on the palm here and do something like this it's a really useful thing to do and let's go ahead and throw out the first finger here Let's just do that and um, bring it out like this and take the second section there and bring it out like that. And there we go, third section. There you go, it's got a nice point going on there. So the point will begin from here and slowly transition to that. All right, so hey, it's like, hey, dude, there's my hip hop gesture. All right, so we got a nice uh, adjustment like that. And there you go, it looks really natural and smooth. Now, again, if you uh, if I took out the original gesture right here, so I deleted the hip hop gesture, what's going to happen is it's going to go back to the original motion layer data, which was the fist, as you recall. But again, this uh, point will still be layered over top of it. So we'll have just this point, or this fist, into the point. All right. The most important thing to remember is just that uh, the motion layer uh, keyframes, motion layer editing tools will provide the, or will have first priority rather, uh, the gesture tracks will have second priority, and then finally the motion uh, clip will have third priority. And that's really all there is to it, just a really simple quick tutorial guys, uh, explaining the gesture uh, tools to you, how you can, and the, the, the layer of uh, importance 
uh, layer of priority for those uh, motion clips, the different motion tools rather. And yeah, so uh, hopefully you learned a lot in this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you check out our other timeline tutorials on our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video.